Do you believe in the power of mathematical sciences? The world is a complex place with many problems facing us all, from global warming to the health of people today. If we could apply a mathematical model that would unravel these and other complex phenomena and describe them simply, we could find hints that would help us to change the world. Here at Meiji University in Japan, a group of professors is bringing together the power of mathematical sciences and blue sky thinking in approaches that seek to make the world a better place. Welcome to the Graduate School of Advanced Mathematical Sciences. So jumping straight in, take a look at these soap bubbles. Over time, their shapes change and so do their surface patterns. Modeling phenomena that occur within interfacial motions is extremely difficult because we can't apply what we know about flat surfaces. Professor Ginder, who specializes in partial differential equations, is using a completely new approach that no one has tried before to try and find a solution that comes close to approximating this soapy problem. For example, he is currently working on the idea of treating the soap bubble surface as energy. By approaching the problem from this angle, he's been able to formulate the model equation as an energy-minimizing variational problem. He's now looking for ways to reach an approximate solution. There are many complex problems occurring around the world, and those that involve humans are particularly complex. Even so, I believe that by using mathematics, we can solve such problems in a fair manner. Modeling of interfacial phenomena is essential for simulations that seek to solve problems involving water droplets or bubbles, etc. In such applications as the design of car brakes and even submarine propellers. Using formulas to model such phenomena, applied mathematics can help us solve such societal problems. You've got a risk of high blood pressure and need to cut down on salt, but you won't eat things that taste good. This is a problem for many of us. So what would you say if you are told that these chopsticks make any meal actually taste salty? These are the taste-controlling chopsticks of the future that are being jointly developed with industry for commercialization. We discovered that by applying a weak electric current to the tongue and food, you can control people's perceptions of saltiness. And we have developed this discovery for people with health issues. For most of us, even though we crave the taste of the things we like, we must resist for the sake of our health. But I believe that there is a way to balance health with these cravings. Other ideas are also being developed, like a taste transfer device that enables teletaste, so that people can experience the same taste even when far apart from each other. <laughs> then there's TTTV, which is Lick and Taste TV concept. By making maximum use of prototyping, the Miyashita Laboratory is researching ways to free people from having to resist temptation and make them happy. The Smart City, a vision of a sustainable urban future. This is a vision that many companies and researchers are aiming toward, but innovations at an individual level will never lead to an optimal and broad solution for an entire city. It is Professor Fukuyama who is searching for this optimal solution in a virtual smart city that simulates the entire urban environment. For example, the best way to operate a sewage treatment plant is to keep it in operation all day, every day. But when you look at the city as a whole, electricity consumption peaks during the day rather than in the morning or evenings. So it would be better for the city if the sewage treatment works could temporarily stop operations during the day. The sewage treatment works would prefer not to stop operations, as this leads to the growth of a bacteria. But when you view the issue from the perspective of the city as a whole, you discover new ideas such as designing new sewage treatment works that makes it difficult for bacteria to reproduce. Making smart cities a reality is a theme being eagerly watched by the entire world. If an optimized model for entire cities can be found, it will bring new perspectives on the ways to achieve smart cities globally. You can find many more professors at the Graduate School of Advanced Mathematical Sciences. 
all doing research from their own unique perspectives, but all believing in the power of mathematical sciences to make the world a better place. Always advance. Meiji University.